Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at how to gamble in Albion Online. Uh, you can make a lot of money doing this, or obviously you can lose money as well. Uh, but I'm going to show you kind of what the Artifact Foundry is, and kind of how to gamble um, with the Artifact Foundry. And you can make a lot of money here, and I'll, I'll show you guys some examples here in a second. But So basically, when you're in the Artifact Foundry, uh, you can choose between what tier of Artifact you want to try to go for. Uh, what rune you're going to use to get the artifact, and uh, what kind of um, artifact weapon you're going for um, of some sort. So right here, we're going to go over to the tier 4, and you're going to notice that right now uh, it wants 50 tier 4 runes. Uh, I'm going to move that up. It wants 50 tier 5 runes, and then uh, and so on and so forth, obviously, until tier 8. Um, and then you obviously can do something other than runes. You can actually go to the right and you can go to souls, which is 50 souls. Or you can go to the right one more and you get 50 relics. So you can actually change what you're doing and get different kinds of artifacts based on what you're doing with relics, uh, souls, or runes. The runes are probably worth the least amount, but they also cost the least amount to use uh, or to buy on the auction house. The souls are obviously second, so you can buy 50 souls for somewhat cheap price, and then you have a chance of something a little bit greater than what you would with the runes. And then, uh, obviously, with the relic, it goes up one more step, basically. Uh, you have the chance in here for, you know, some pretty, pretty good stuff. Um, you know, I don't know if you can read some of this stuff. You have the adjudicator boots, adjudicator armor, uh, things of that nature. So you can get some pretty, pretty crazy stuff in here. The galatine pair. Um the mace head, uh, the blood forge spikes. So you've got really good, powerful things in here. Um, but like I said, uh, this little tab at the bottom. Now we're going to go over this uh, warrior step, uh, warrior category, I guess. Uh, so I have it on warrior right now. But if you go over, you can go to mage, and then you can go to hunter, and then at the very end you have any. And any is what you're going to want to do if you're trying to gamble, um, as it cuts down to 36 runes uh, and 36 souls and 36. Um, relics. So you're actually going to be at your least expensive uh, at the any category. And that's what you're going to want to do uh, as of now. So what we're going to do is actually kind of go over and show you guys what you can actually make doing this. So we're going to go over here and buy a little bit of each. Um, let's go see how much. I only have about six mil to spend right now as the giveaway is coming up and I spent a lot of money on the mounts and things of that nature. So we're going to look at, uh, I think tier four is the cheapest you can do. And honestly, it's the best you can do um, because you have less risk and just one good drop can get you what you want. So we're going to go with relics here. Um, we're going to go tier four relics. We're going to get, let's say, well, let's go to one that has more of them. Um, there's one with 82. It's starting to get a little bit more pricey over here. Uh, there's 30, but we'll just get the 82 right now. And then that 33 stack. So that's 200K. I'm going to go over, I'm going to have a video with uh, the text coming up showing you the prices for how much, uh, what I kind of all got here. So now we're going to do souls and 208 souls. Let's do that right there. Now let's do runes. And we're just going to compare kind of uh, what worked out for me. What was the best option for me um, as I'm doing this? So we're going to try to use uh, 36, or we'll, we could probably do three runs of this, uh, the, cl the relics, three runs of the Depth Souls, and we'll do three runs of the runes and just kind of compare what we get. I'm going to add a few more relics in there just, um, just in case here as I go over and gamble. Um, so we got, we got what we need. We're going to head out. I guess what we could do is actually just take the average. So we could actually spend all, everything we've got and just take the average of um, average profit or loss uh, doing this gambling. And obviously you're not going to come out on top or on the bottom every time. So, you know, it's it's a gamble, like I said. So uh, it's a lot of fun, though. It, it really is kind of addicting because you can get pretty amazing drops in here. Uh, obviously, if you go higher up, it's going to cost more and more. And it probably becomes a little less worth it the higher up you go. Um, as those items start to cost a lot for them relics and things so let's start out with the runes uh, required resources 36 we're gonna have make sure you have it on any and you have it on runes we're gonna meld a few of these and I don't know the prices right off the top of my head I'm gonna have to go check in the um, in the auction house at the end uh, we got an ancient hammerhead which I don't believe is anything too special 
Remember, I don't actually know the prices of everything, so uh, just work with me here as we go through all these and we meld them all real quick. So, one more, I think. Yeah, that's all we got right there. Um, ruined rock, bedrock maze, stalker shoes. So, we'll, we'll see how much those are all worth, see if we actually made it on top with the uh, text coming up for you guys. I won't actually know in the video, but we're going to have text coming up for you guys while I'll do the calculations uh, while that video is going for you. So, we're going to be on the soles now. Uh, we're going to meld these out. And, yeah, the text will actually come out during the auction house, by the way. Not right now. You guys won't be able to see the outcome of uh, the souls, runes, and relics until we get to the auction house. See if you guys think it's worth it for yourselves to do. Um, as we did get the relics done, let's see what we kind of got here. We got the soul scythe, which I believe is pretty good. Bolt caster, another really good one. Um, Fiend sandals and incubus mace. Now let's check the biggest of all of them, uh, the relics. The relics can be very, very good, uh, depending on what you get, obviously. So we got three goes there, and we got the uh, Blazing Staff, Bear Paws, and Face Breaker. I don't believe we got anything special on that, that run, um, but we're going to see what we come up with. Obviously, we're only running a few. Uh, we could be running a lot uh, more runes, and we might do that in the near future right here. But we're going to check and see what we came up with here. Want to trade? So, I'm just coming up with the relics. Okay, there we go. So, we got the hammerhead, which sells for 1,450, which is a terrible, terrible roll. Um, we got the lost Christ, arcane crystal, sells for about 2K. Also very bad. 1.5K wildfire, not bad, uh, or is bad. These are all really bad right now, uh, prices that we're getting. Um, very bad drops. We got an okay drop here on the sickle head. Nothing special again. Uh, the hellish bolts, you can tell the hellish bolts were definitely a good drop for us with about 58k. That's that's the kind of drops you're going to want to make profit here. Um, and then we got the demonic blade, which is not very good. Uh, we got the infernal cloth bindings, only 11k, not very special. Uh, the infernal mace head, 27k, um, not terrible, but not great. And look at that. We got the unholy scroll, depths on the holy scroll for some for 220k. Um, it's that blazing staff and you know that's going to be worth a lot of money so this was a, seems to be a great drop for us uh, at 220k uh, this next one is about 58k which is definitely not bad uh, we got the axe heads and then we have a 53k drop uh, for the last relics and that's not bad as well so we're going to have the totals there for you right now and we are going to have more uh, at the end of this video we're going to do one more big big uh risk for you guys we're going to sell all these and we're going to have this a little bit more fun we're going to sell actually these two we're going to see what it's worth to you guys going with a um what is it uh the relics we're going to go for a high tier and spend some crazy money not <laughs> not tier eight tier eight is uh definitely not suggested uh as the best you know profit making there uh tier five is actually about the same as tier four um so tier five would probably be the best for relics right now but, you know, you can only buy one or eight or, you know, so at a time. So it's not amazing for that reason. But um, let's see what Tier 6 has. Do they have any stackables that are nice and high? 71 over here. So we could do a few with that. That's going to be 376k. So you're risking a lot with this Tier 6. Um, we have 71, uh, which should be allowing us to do, let's see here. Yeah, so we're actually going to need one more, I believe. Just buy one more. And that should be two runs right there for like 380k or something like that. So let's take a look and see if we can get a lucky roll. Um, this, obvious, I, like I said, tier 4 is probably the best, maybe tier 5. But the higher you go up, the less rewarding it becomes. You can get risky real quick, but it's just it becomes a lot less um, rewarding for sure. So let's meld two of these real quick. So first we got the Cultist Robe, which I believe is good, and then the Spectre Shoes. Uh, these could both be decent. Let's take a look at the, the actual shop. These could be honestly awful or very good. I, I honestly don't know the prices of the relics, like I said, or the, the artifacts. So let's take a look and see what we got. We have to make up quite a debt there, so it'll be kind of hard to see if this actually comes out positive. Uh, 147k for the um, Master's Spectre Shoes. Uh, it's not going to be amazing as we have to pay off about 360, 370k. Um, but... Look at that. We have a big drop right here with the Master's Cultist Robe. It's going to come out on top at about 280k, uh, which is just 
right there uh, alone, you guys can see that we actually came out on top with this risk at the end. I think we came out on top probably like 60K or so. Uh, I'll have the text come up for you guys and everything, but uh, we did we did come out on top that time around with the Tier 6 running the Relics. And this is just a little gambling video, guys. Um, I know you can make about 1 mil plus per hour doing this. I've made it in the past. I, I've gambled a lot um, when it was way more worthwhile. Uh, at this point in time, uh, you'll be lucky to make about 1 mil plus an hour uh, if you're running these back and forth and you're getting kind of good odds on your hands. So, uh, like I said, it is gamble, so beware. Don't risk all your money doing this. Uh, just risk that money that you have uh, and you want to just play around with and you have extra money on hand. Uh, I would suggest using that money. It's it's a lot of fun uh, to just see what you can get. And I suggest you guys give it a try and let me know how you go. Uh, let me know how it goes for you. And make sure you guys leave a sub and a comment below if you guys enjoy the content. I'll see you guys next time.